Super Duper Facts. The sinking of the Titanic is one of the most famous maritime disasters in history. However, few people know about the SS Californian, a nearby ship that failed to come to Titanic's rescue. The Californian stood only a few miles away from the sinking ship, yet the crew did nothing to help. The reasons behind this inaction have been the topic of much debate and speculation for over a century. What really happened on the Californian that night would be forever lost to time. What we know today has been pieced together from witness statements given by the Californian's captain and officers during the Titanic inquiries. So let's take a look at the Californian's timeline on April the 15th, 1912. The Californian radioed the Titanic at approximately 1900 hours to warn of an ice field of which the Californian nearly collided with herself. Captain Stanley Lord ordered the Californian to stop for the night, concluding it was too dangerous to proceed. As he was going off duty, he spotted the Titanic's lights on the horizon, about five miles away. Californian radioed Titanic again, warning that they had stopped and were surrounded by ice. The radio signal was so strong it interrupted Titanic's regular communication and its reply from Titanic's wireless room was shut up, shut up, I am busy. Californian shut down its wireless at 11.30pm. As history would have it, Titanic struck the iceberg around 10 minutes later. Californian was sighted from Titanic's bridge 25 minutes later and distress rockets were fired to get her attention. Officers on board Californian spotted several rockets and called down to Captain Lord, who had since gone to bed. Lord suggested the Californian contact the vessel by Morse lamp. No effort was ever made to wake the wireless operator. Lord suggested that the rockets were company signals of some kind. During the testimony given during the British inquiry, there was mixed ideas about the rockets they saw. Some of Californian's officers believed there was a more serious nature behind the rockets. At 2 a.m., Titanic appeared to be leaving the area after firing a total of eight white rockets. This was reported to Captain Lord, who did nothing. Titanic actually sank at 2.20 a.m. At 3 a.m., Officers of the Californian sighted rockets coming from the south. These were from the RMS Carpathia, who had travelled all night towards Titanic. At 4.16am, the Californian's wireless operator was now awake, and he inquired about why a ship had fired rockets earlier. At 5.30am, Captain Lord, now awake, ordered the Californian to Titanic's position, but through a twisted, longer route instead of directly there. Californian eventually arrived alongside the RMS Carpathia, who had just finished collecting all the survivors. After the Carpathia departed for New York, Californian stayed behind to continue the search, but only found wreckage. After extensive research and analysis of the historical data surrounding the SS Californian and the Titanic disaster, there are still potential answers to the mystery that unfolded that fateful night. One theory is that SS Californian did see the Titanic's distress rockets, but failed to act on them due to a miscommunication between the crew. Another theory suggests that the Captain Lord of the SS Californian purposely ignored the rockets as he felt it was not his responsibility to interfere with other ships' matters. However, there is no concrete evidence to support either theory. The official investigation of the SS Californian incident was conducted by the British Board of Trade, which took place from May 2nd to June 3rd, 1912. It was headed by Lord Mersey, who was a prominent British lawyer and judge at the time. The inquiry was held in London 
and was attended by various officials, maritime experts and witnesses. During the inquiry, testimonies were gathered from both the crew of the Californian and the survivors of the Titanic. The crew of the Californian maintained that they had seen distress rockets being fired from a ship on the night of April 14th, but they were unsure which ship it was. When they tried to communicate with the other ship via Morse lamp, they received no response. They eventually went to bed without taking any further action. The survivors of the Titanic, on the other hand, testified that they had seen a ship in the distance and had fired distress rockets in its direction. They claimed that the ship had not come to their aid, which ultimately led to the loss of many lives. After hearing all the evidence and testimonies, Lord Mersey concluded that the Californian had failed in its duty to assist the Titanic. He also criticised the captain and crew for failing to take appropriate action after seeing the distress rockets. The inquiry led to new regulations being put in place, which required all ships to maintain a 24-hour radio watch and respond to distress calls promptly. Despite the official investigation, the mystery surrounding the SS Californian still persists to this day. Some believe that the Californian was not the only ship in the vicinity that night, and that other ships had also failed to respond to the Titanic's distress calls. Others believe that there was a conspiracy to cover up the true events of that fateful night. Nonetheless, the investigation remains an important part of maritime history and has led to significant improvements in safety regulations. The events of that night have sparked numerous theories and debates and will likely remain an enigma for years to come.